Hey, what do you say you practice with me real quick? Nothing big, just a short... Uh, there's no way a punch can hit me from that distance. They say that to draw a weapon against one of your kind is to wish for victory. Even if the beast is slain, the wish is granted. The dragon wins either way. So if you told me about two months ago that a fucking pile of bones would solo Dragon Ball, I'd call you crazy. Well, the time has come, and now I'm crazy. Meet Heffend. To describe Heffend in one word would be HATE. I'm serious. If actual police saw this man's rap sheet, his ass would be put to death in fucking five minutes. So, let's get started. You thought that was bad? Let me hit you with this. This dude, just to get payback, forced one faction under his rule, made them commit faction side against another faction, enslaved that same faction he killed, turned them into zombies, and made both factions his bitch. Before we continue on with the story of this menace to human nature, let's let Riven explain how Armkara gained power. Terrorist was always a sentimental fool. His last wish has caused us no small amount of trouble. All wishes come at a cost, even those we Ahamkara grant ourselves. Especially those we grant ourselves. My kind feeds on the difference between what is desired and what comes to pass. That is why we grant wishes the way we do. In granting our own wish, we eliminate that difference. We smother the flame, and our voices fall silent. Our existence ends. You heard it from Riven. They feed from wishes in order to gain power. However, if they feed on their own wish, they die. So this man created a fucking meatball body and sent a space cop and his friends to jail. Let us play the evidence. What was that? I just got a spike of weird taken energy. That was a chimera. It must be the Ahamkara's avatar. Remember Curious George? Heffin summoned a snowstorm while he was fighting Curious George. And the Guardian can ignore atomic attacks, but this dude made a snowstorm that ignores even that. So after killing Toaster XD's ugly twin and granting about 20 more wishes to Heffin, we meet him at the top of the fortress and we take him on. And boy, this Super Meat Boy ripoff was ready for round 3. He threw down with the entire fire team for about 5 to 6 floors, and in the final fight, you just barely beat him. Even then, you grant him a wish, and he gets even stronger. So where does all this scale? Let's use Snyder Cut Darkseid as our example here. You know how Darkseid is usually being stayed by people to blow up planets? Well, if he wished to blow up a planet, Heffin would take his wish and use it to blow up the entire universe. Don't believe me? Riven's husband, Terranus Riven's mate, cast a reverse fate manipulation that is beyond universal on his children to forever keep them out of danger and place them into the hands of the wish keeper. Following the point about Terranus, him and Riven had a marriage and they lived inside the Black Garden which was consistently stated to be an ontological space twice in the same mission at the start as well as in the cutscene. Trueform Heffend is give or take equal to full power Nezirak, so he would straight up solo Cosmic Armor Superman. As a last stitch effort to show you evidence of my claims, let me show you five different armed Kara who is talking directly to the person playing Destiny after they died, all of which who scale well below Heffend's avatar. In summary, a low ball you can give Heffend is MFTL plus and Universal plus. A mid ball you can give Heffend is infinite multiversal and immeasurable speed. And a high ball for Heffend 
is out of reversal and irrelevant speed. And that does it for this year's Christmas video. If you guys want more cool shit like this, please let me know and I'll provide it. If we can get the 2000 subs before June of next year, I will do a 100% power scale of The Witness from start to finish. You heard the goal, 2000 subs by final shape. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe if, if you guys are new. Uh, I wouldn't get here without any of y'all. Have a wonderful good night, good day. Have an awesome New Year's Eve and an awesome New Year's Day. And I'll see y'all later. Peace! Something is different about this one. And so, the Great Hunt claims the life of another Ahamkara. You slew me 14 times, Wish Dragon. I landed a killing blow only once. Hardly seems fair. They say that to draw a weapon against one of your kind is to wish for victory. Even if the beast is slain, the wish is granted. The dragon wins either way. Perhaps that's why they send me on these hunts. Because... I do not wish to do this. The Ahamkara are a force of nature. To blame you for an ill-conceived wish is like blaming fire for burning down a house. And yet, when a fire rages out of control, it must be extinguished. There is no joy or ambition in it. Only the knowledge that it must be done. Rest well, dragon. Let this castle be your tomb, one befitting a creature of your stature. That is the closest thing to a wish you'll get from me. Shax is the other warlord? Saladin never mentioned that? It's sweet in a way, but this is the way Heffen chose to speak to us. Well, Heffen... I'm sure the Guardian found you a worthy opponent, too. We were glad to hear your story. Who wants to ask Shax about this?